How much longer are we going to allow our governments to be beholden to the whims of the fossil fuel industry? It's the latest act in a trend of eco-vandalism. This time in Ottawa's National Gallery, a 108-year-old Tom Thompson piece splattered with paint. Fossil fuel industries are destroying the work of art that is our planet. And our the culprit, Caleb Sudfeld of Langley, B.C. His group, on to Ottawa, informed Global News minutes before the incident that he was protesting a lack of a national wildfire fighting service. If I was just yelling on the sidewalk, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't be filming me. So that's why we do this, and that's why we're going to continue to do this. Tactics that have drawn condemnation from artists. I understand the uh, passion that people have, especially as half the country seems to be on fire at the moment, but it's, uh, it's not the way to go about it. From the fall colors in Algonquin came somber elegies like Northern River. Purchased by the National Gallery in 1915 for $500, Northern River is an iconic landscape, completed just two years before Thompson's death. Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven did so many beautiful paintings that are really sort of pro-environmental. People see the beauty of, of the natural, pristine landscape. Ottawa police arresting Sudfeld on mischief charges. It's worth it to wake the public up and to continue to, continue to shed light on this problem. On to Ottawa has used this playbook before, throwing paint on the Prime Minister's office earlier this summer and on the Toronto sign in Nathan Phillips Square. Part of a worldwide trend from climate protesters who've thrown soup on a famous Van Gogh and cake at the Mona Lisa. I know how hard it is for the security people, for all the museum people who care desperately for these collections to have something like this happen on their watch. As for the painting, the National Gallery says protective glass in front of it saved it from any harm. And after a quick cleanup, Donna, it'll be back on display soon. Okay, Mackenzie Gray outside the National Gallery. Thanks.